Contributed to the event, how they like the networking, and two important questions for Lifestyle of a Fit. Number one, what is their favorite workout to do in the city, especially now that it's summer? And number two, what is their favorite health food? Come with me, let's go check this out. I am here with Amelia Miller, the owner of the Paul Miller Boutique. Amelia, I see all the glitz and glamour going on today, actually loving the pieces they were specifically wearing. Number one, I want to see them. Number two, tell me about them. Well, the one that I'm actually specifically wearing is the Sailor Collection. So, um, Paul Miller actually is doing a new collection for only Sailor. But the main pieces today was his new statement collection of his coral. And the other thing about Mixie G, tell me more about her. She's the new designer that was just added. Yeah, Mixie G is actually her name is Michelle. And her designs are very, very sparkly and feminine. You know, if you like glitz and glam, it's kind of like the statement piece that you wear. You wear like a simple outfit and just that, and that makes the outfit. And that's kind of like why we've added her into the boutique, is because she's kind of like Paul, but in a different way. Hers is more sparkle. I'm here with Johnny with Immerman Angels. Johnny, tell me more about your organization. Well, thank you so much for interviewing us. We're flattered to be here. Thank you to Cuvée and the Hoopers and everyone here. Um, Intermittent Angels is a way to help people who are fighting cancer find someone who survived the exact same thing. We believe no one should fight cancer alone. I was diagnosed at 26. I was alone. I was scared. I was nervous. I didn't know anyone like me. We created a network of someone who's fighting cancer anywhere in the world. Find them a uniquely matched survivor who went through the same experience who beat it. So your company is worldwide? We are worldwide. We're in over 60 countries and all 50 states. Lifestyle the Fit would like to know. Number one, what is your favorite workout to do in the city? I love fitness questions, so thanks for asking that. Um, I do work out every day. I'm a big so do I? Yeah, you Lo like you love know. it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you gotta do that stuff, right? I'm a big believer in diet, exercise, and sleep. And uh, the other question: What is your favorite health food? Uh, right now, it's arugula. Love arugula. What do you eat it with? Olive oil and salt and pepper. Yes, love. That's one of my favorites, like, along with kale. Really Hi, I'm here with Juana. She's one of the attendees at today's event. Juana, what did you like about today's event? Well, I just felt lucky and I like that I really won an amazing prize. I got like a 20 person package party and a $60 gift certificate. Hi, I'm here with Stephen Hooper, the owner of Network and Social. Stephen, what is significant about today's event here at Kuwait? What's amazing today was that we were able to work with Emmerman Angels, uh, a charity that we'd actually worked with in the past, uh, to have them come out with the team they did and really take on the event that, you know, from a charitable aspect, you know, that's what we're looking for. We're really spreading the word about their cause, you know, really involving the people that we have at our events and making them more educated about what's going on. You know, and I really felt they were able to do that tonight. We were able to raise a lot of money for them through our charity raffle, and it was just an amazing turnout. And uh, the next question, what is your favorite health food? Uh, I love cooking my own food, actually. And specifically, if you were going to name I, one thing. I love soups, I love vegetables, or like stir fries and chicken. 
What is your favorite workout to do in the city? You know, I've really actually gotten to jumping rope. You know, it's something that I see. Uh, it's more of an endurance type, you know, athletic exercise. Do you box? You know what, I don't, you know, but I've seen, obviously everyone can watch YouTube, you know, and you see a lot of the stuff on there, you know, but from my aspect, it was something to change the tedious treadmill, you know, something else I could do cardio-wise. What's great about it is, in between workouts, it's something nice you can do for, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds, just keep the cardio going. Lifestyle of the Fit would like to know, what is your favorite workout that you've ever done in the city? Well, uh, actually... Outside, inside? Outside. Me too. I'm an outside runner forever. And I love biking also. So everyone kind of knows that you're a yoga girl. And I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite workout to do in the city? Um, in the city? Well, I don't really work out in the city. But if I were to work out, I'd probably go running outside. Because it's just kind of like I'm the lake or something. Take advantage in the summer. But... I love all the yoga spots, the hot spots in the city, like the heating and the camp. Name, name your three top yoga hot spots. Well, everybody knows this one. It's Core Power Yoga, so I love that one. The other question is, what is your favorite health food? My favorite? Okay, so I'm a vegan. I've been a vegan three and a half years, vegetarian five years. I love Karen's Cook, which is right down the street here. The other question is, what is your favorite health food? I, I don't know if it would be a health food, but I'm... Um, uh, ton if you the, say blue cheese olives, I'm gonna laugh. Uh, no, I'm a ton into the uh, post-workout stuff, you know. So obviously, really into chicken breast. You know, I always try to add a green vegetable with what I do. Don't try it, don't